elephant. There are some places now where there are certain prides that have become quite good at it. Obviously, it's a very challenging thing. You don't just go and take down an animal that weighs 10 or 20 times the weight of, of a lion. But around here, these elephants don't really get harassed by lions too much. Busy afternoon this afternoon, Rob. Yeah, better busy than uh, not. There's such a great multitude of animals. All these elephants. I still can't give you an accurate idea of how many there are, but but at least 50 or 60, if not more. There's more coming out in the back now. I know that there's another herd following further back when we left them earlier. So a lot of them around. A lot of buffalo. Rob, just deciding which of those to show you. little bit to see if we can't get a better view of some of these animals just started seeing some of the first buffalo in the background as well so you've got these two big herds of animals mixing with each other now You can see her, that's that female I mentioned earlier. She's the matriarch. She's got that very weird, sort of peculiar tusk, the right hand side tusk bending all the way down. Not really a big problem in any way for her, if anything. I'm sure that'll make a lion think a third or a fourth time before it tries anything with this group. They're enjoying their right in a dip here. They're not far from us, probably 15 meters or so, 40, 50 feet. They're just in a little dongo or a little drainage line below us at the moment, lower down than us. There's her calf. Youngster also just around about a year, maybe just over. And this is why the rest of this herd is so relaxed. She's extremely comfortable, she's relaxed. So that means that all the other elephant will follow her lead and have all grown up over the last many years, not minding vehicles at all. that. I really do apologize if I sometimes bore you sometimes with going on about the same thing, or using the word sometimes more than four times in one sentence. 
but it really is spectacular the greenery around us it is so lush it's such a vibrant green color and this may be a perfect way to see that the elephant standing right in a dip there and you can see it's just eating away not difficult don't have to dig for it don't have to break it down or pull it down or use the tusk to get it off on the bark of a tree all you have to do is walk up and pick it zip around to this other side might have to do that one or two more times there's more and more elephant coming out now to our right to our left and I think somewhere in the next few minutes we're going to be able to see one or two of those really small calves Where to go? <laughs> the elephants are coming out right next to us here as well. Let's see. She was very comfortable with us earlier. I'm sure she will be again. Just sit behind here. Good afternoon. Again, it's more a playful, sort of curious trumpet that she didn't even stop eating. She's busy eating some wild asparagus there. You can see the sort of fern like looking twig she's pulling out there. And just the trumpet, just to sort of house it, as we say in South Africa, just asking us what we're up to. Why are you moving your car? And then we switch it off. We sit nice and quiet, and she's relaxed again. Rob, sorry to mess you around, but have a look across there quickly. This female very close to us, but she's relaxed. And look at that. Is coming out for us now. Tiny little one. It's difficult to see. We can't see her right ear at the moment, but it looks like that female from earlier, the one with the sort of half a ear on the right hand side. And also, judging from the size of that little calf, that's only about two and a half months old at the most. Still got that almost wobbly little trunk. Ah, oh, this is amazing. We've got elephants around us at the moment. Probably about 270 degrees. If we're facing 12 o'clock, everywhere from about 7, 8 o'clock, all the way around until about 4 o'clock, you can see elephant. And that little one's still sticking very, very close to mum. Great sense of comfort. Obviously, that strong link that exists between a mother and a calf. Something that's very important for the calf and it's small like this one, still learning how to use its balance properly. You can see it using that, moving the foot along so slowly, they're walking on some sort of strange terrain. It's not very flat, it's around the drainage line here. Ah, oh, that's amazing. And there is really an incredible bond between all these elephants within the herd. They will all know this little calf very well and intimately by now difficult to see it looks like a little bull calf but I'm not 100% sure it's difficult to say when they're so young but in the case of a cow or a female calf the mother that mother and that calf will often spend their whole life together in the case of a bull up until about 15 16 years old oh, it's gonna play with us oh, sorry there's just too much to look at she was gonna as she turned she gave a little bit of a shake of her head and I thought she might come and of ask us what we're doing here. Look at that green grass, perfect. Don't you feel like eating some of it as well? 